You're under arrest. Get on your knees. I didn't do anything. Hands, hands, hands. Laundry. Oh, can you do mine? Yes. No. I hope Sherman gets you.
Can you risk, right? You're, you're doing that thing with the bottle with your hands. You, you know, a little fidgety. No. Yeah. Are you nervous? No, I'm, I'm about to become best friend with your sister. See? And how are you? How would you feel about that? I'm fine. Uh huh. <laughs> what is this wine? Walgreens, Rothschilds. Uh, we have a Moscato in the fridge if that's more your taste. <laughs> I think Postmates delivers wine. Is this one yours? Yes. Very old piece. He hates that I put that up there. At some point, you gotta move on. Oh, except that you have them though, right? Made a piece in what, the two years? It's just that you're my muse and I don't see you often enough, Chaboy. <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh my gosh, stop. Mm -hmm. You are too much. Thank you. Right. Let it reach. He's so salty we didn't use him as our realtor. As you can tell. Mm -hmm. Horrible. How can you stand like that? No, 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 sweetie. You don't know the first thing about Chicago real estate. Oh, he must like you because he is really showing his ass. <laughs> Isn't he always? <old? laughs> Overpaid, Bree. It's not just the inside that counts. It's close to the gallery. Yeah, it's very practical. Okay, what is wrong with it? Well, nothing. As I told my sister many times, the neighborhood is haunted. Everywhere is haunted. Uh -huh. Troy, do not start with that. Sure, 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 but why'd you have to choose a place that used to be called Smoky Hollow, then Little Hell, then what is it, uh, Combat Alley? What's it called now? Cabrini Green. It was a project. It's affordable housing that had a particularly bad reputation. You would never know. Yeah, because they tore it down and gentrified the shit out of it. Translation, white people built the ghetto and then erased it when they realized they built the ghetto. Ooh, no offense. None taken. They took the opportunity to make it livable. I could have gotten you a better conversion. They kept telling people they were gonna make it better, moving them from place to place, but really they were just tearing it down so they could develop everything around it. Oh, like here. You guys wanna hear a scary story? No. Too bad. <clears throat> but I voted no. Troy. Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> this shit better be good. <laughs> This is a story about a woman named Helen Lyle. She was a grad student, a white grad student, doing her thesis on the urban legends of Cabrini Green. For research, she came down to Cabrini a few times, you know, asking questions, taking pictures of graffiti, people. And then, one day, she just snaps. She beheaded a Rottweiler. By the time the police show up, she's in one of the apartments doing snow angels in a pool of blood. Ew. Okay. Bullshit. That's <laughs> all bullshit. There's no way. Get this from? She killed a Rottweiler? Yeah, this is extra even for you. There are articles written about this. Look it up. <laughs> the authorities take her in, but she escapes almost immediately. She goes on a rampage, leaving a trail of bodies in her wake. And then the baby of one of the residents is abducted. The mother is devastated. Everyone is looking for him. And nothing on the night of the annual bonfire with all of the residents of Cabrini watching. Helen arrives with a sacrificial offering. Baby in her arms. She runs towards the fire, but they're on her quick. They say she was in a, in a fugue state fighting back blindly. But they got the baby free. While everyone is fussing over him, Ellen stands up and walks right into the fire. And it's on that spot that she dies, burns to death, right in the middle of Cabrini Green. <laughs> is my rosé still in the freezer? You don't want the Moscato? Moscato is our win. Bye, Drew Green. Yeah. Yeah, love you. And Anthony, get painting. My sister's not trying to support you the rest of her life. Put down those weights, pick up them brushes. Uh -huh. It's funny. He is ridiculous. He's right.
just glad Troy is finally dating someone normal. I was getting exhausted trying to keep up with all those European fashion designers. Hello? What time is Clyde coming tomorrow? 10 a.m. You feeling good about what you're showing? Uh, I think so. Uh, some stuff you might enjoy. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, huh. I guess he did kill a rock roller. Damn. I don't care. I'm not trying to get creeped out in my new apartment before bed. Your new apartment is ghost proof. It was on the Zillow list there. Our new apartment. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Come here. <Yep. laughs> Who are you, man? Uh, well, <laughs> this is Anthony McCoy of two years ago. I want the Anthony McCoy of the future. I want the great black hope of the Chicago art scene of tomorrow. That's the guy that I gave a solo show to straight out of grad school. Look, I really don't have to go through the trouble of replacing you in the summer show, but you're the only person who hasn't shown me what I'm actually putting up. I'm working on something. I dig into that history of yours, dude. I'm, I'm thinking about doing something about the projects. And about how uh, white supremacy, white people, yeah, how it, it, it creates these spaces of of rampant neglect for communities of color, in particular black communities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where you're from? Yeah, Brownsville. Yeah, sounds like it's kind of played. Uh, or Cabrini Green. Bye, babe. Oh, don't forget we have your moms tonight. Seven.
almost never come around here back in the day. Unless it was to take someone there. But that was a long time ago. Now they can't seem to stay away. At night, they post up where the last of us still live. A police car on either side of the block. Keeping us safe. Or keeping us in. You lived around here for a while? Hey, since before the high rises came down. William. William Burke. Anthony McCoy. Oh. You need a hand? Home sweet home. Ah, uh, the more things change, the more things stay the same. I go, brother. Ask the white people around here about Girl X, Don Trell Davis, Blank Stairs. One white woman dies in the hood, and the story lives on forever. It's a good story, I guess. You mind if I take some notes? It makes you think about what can make someone just snap like that. Hell and I was out here looking for Candy Man. You ask me, I say she found him. What's Candyman? For me, Candyman was a guy named Sherman Fields. He had a hook for a hand. Neighborhood character used to stand out there and hand out sweets to us when I was a kid. One October, a razor blade shows up in a little white girl's Halloween candy. Police come around here looking for Sherman, but Sherman's gone. And one day, I saw myself. later. More razor blades and more candy. That's when we knew Sherman had been innocent. Harmless. But that wasn't the last we saw of him. to go to put her in rehab. You fix this. Je sais pas, c'est pas ma faute. Uh, merci. Hein? Uh, 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 qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, bon, bon. What's up? You forgot your mother's. Shit, I'm sorry. 
Will you please call that woman? Tomorrow. I want you to said that yesterday, and it's nice that she wants to spend time with you. Not everyone has that. Is she okay? She implied that I give you money so you won't visit her. So, oh, she's about the same. <laughs> Stop it. It's great. I want to show you something. Uh, do I need to come upstairs? Right there, right there, right there. Right. Sherman's face was beaten so badly that it was unrecognizable. And that's where the story started. About them seeing him around Cabrini. About him coming to get you. Over time, his name disappears and he just becomes the candy man. What do you think? Well, it's a pretty literal approach. Not much room for viewer interpretation, you know, moving from the symbolism of violence to the actual depiction of it. Okay, but how was it hitting you? It's painful. I feel really connected to this. I've never been this clear before. It's like I know exactly what I'm meant to be doing right now. Babe, hey, that's great. <laughs> and I'm sure Clive will oh, there, 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 there's, there's one more thing. And the legend is, if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and kills you. So, I thought that we could... <laughs> What did you think? Summon him. <laughs> Hell no. No. Candyman. Anthony. Candyman. Anthony, no. Candyman. Stop. Stop it. Candyman. Stop it. Okay. You better not do okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. Candyman. Can you please? Oh, 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 Fucking beastie. Really? Yeah, sure. Uh, looks like it. You kiss it. Fuck out of here. Help! Help! Mm -hmm. Mm But here, he's recreating and looping archival footage. Just this is quite a departure from your previous work. Go ahead, open it. I'm trying to align these moments in time that exist in the same place. The idea is to almost calibrate tragedy into a focused lineage that culminates in the now. Priyam, tell your boy not to hug the critic. He's got a whole thing. Yeah, no, I, I know, I heard it. It's complicated. 
Well, she's interacting with the piece. The mirror invites you to attempt to summon it yourself. Oh. Anyway, I don't know why I'm standing next to my own piece like some kind of asshole. The uh, word speaks for itself. Oh, it, it speaks, all right. <laughs> Speaking of didactic needs your cliches about the ambient violence of the gentrification cycle. But your kind are the real pioneers of that cycle, you know? Excuse me? Artists. Artists descend upon disenfranchised neighborhoods to find cheap rent so that they can dick around in their studios without the crushing burden of a day job. I'm gonna get another drink. Try it. What? Summon the candy man. Uh, yeah, no. Black people don't need to be summoning shit. Oh, come on, that is nonsense. This isn't the bayou. Chicago, that's white people shit. Mm. Candy man. Candy man. Zip it, a hey, stop. I mean, where'd you even find those paintings? They're a store in the desert. <laughs> I found them in the studio where I painted them. <laughs> you goofy ass fuck. <laughs> and you, you fucking hyenas. Oh, oh what the let's, fuck? Let's go, Clive. <laughs> Anthony, you think you'd even be here if it wasn't for her? Shouldn't you be someone stocking up on one and a half the pills to accommodate your summer intern program? That's not spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. You had that one in the bank. Yeah, I did, bitch. <laughs> It's fine. I can take it and call the bitch. It's fine. I'm I know. For that display. Atrocity exhibition. Uh, shoehorning her boyfriend into my summer show was her first mistake. Only mistake. She's done. And she has no one to blame but herself. Don't mix curation with who you're fucking. <laughs> Love will tear us apart. Jesus, Jericho, we get it. You like Joy Division. <laughs> <laughs> Say what five times in the mirror? You tell me. You proofread the press release, Jerrica. Candyman. But don't do it, okay? I don't want you to die tonight. At least, not until we fuck. You're not good for me. You know what? I changed my mind to it. Necrophilia's always been on my bucket list. Mm -hmm. Do it here then. Um, no, I've been here all day. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Candyman. Are you serious? Quiet bitch.
See? Nothing. So much for that. occurred after night driver gallery's group show opening the bodies were discovered in front of a piece from rising star anthony mccoy entitled say my name law enforcement officers say they are investigating say my name they said my name hey and say my name I don't know, just, it's, it's cool to be mentioned, I guess. I, I mean, obviously, obviously it's, obviously it's awful. Really? Daddy could fly, did you? Anthony. Anthony. 
you okay? I had a bad dream. Me too. What was it? What was what? The dream. So I don't know what this is or how you knew it existed, but this is everything we have under Helen Lyle. If it didn't, that's why I had to ask. Uh, well, here it is. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course, yeah. I found it by the true crime. This works I found forever in the first. So are you a student? Some of the things that have happened to Cabrini over the years, violence is just so extreme, so bizarre. It's almost as if violence became the ritual. The worst part, the residents are afraid to call the police. A code of honor, perhaps. Fear of the police themselves. The easy answer is always Candyman did it. The summoning game itself could be connected. I mean, it's clear that no one person makes this up. This grew from the community's collective subconscious. A survival tool evolved from the need to protect itself and its children from the horrors of the community. Bernadette and I tried the summoning. It's amazing how effective it can be. The suggestion that you're being followed or stalked by something lurking in your own reflection. But I get it. Jack Hyde is coming in from New York, and he never comes to Chicago. So please don't fuck this up. I'll be fine. For me. 
don't fuck this up for me. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. That is putting it mildly. <laughs> As you can imagine, what I'm writing is no longer an exhibition review. It's, it's now expanded into a larger article, which unpacks both the works and the circumstances around the murders. I see. So I just wanted to get a, a few quotes from you. Well, I don't know much of anything. Your work is so macabre, and that's pretty interesting, considering what happened. That's a coincidence. I'm not saying that you're at fault. And I'm certainly not saying that a ghost manifested by a collective storytelling killed a prominent art dealer. I'm just saying that all of a sudden your work seems eternal. What's next? I'm expanding the work into a series. I'm hoping to do a solo show. All about Candyman, spread the word. Mm, I love that idea. I'm surprised at how positive your take on my piece seems to be now. Well, it grew on me. Seemed like you didn't quite get it. No, I get it. It's the hood, gentrification, etc. Artists? Gentrify the hood. Who do you think makes the hood? The city cuts off a community and waits for it to die. Then they invite developers in and say, hey, you artists, you young people, you white, preferably or only, please come to the hood, it's cheap. And if you stick it out for a couple of years, we'll bring you our Whole Foods. You want to be a part of the story, right? Well, as a critic, I... To really I, engage with the work, to get it. You should say it. Say what? Say his name. I think I need to use the bathroom. Oh, this is as good a time as any. I dare you.
Provincial yet exciting. Oh my God, have you met Daniel Harrington? She's chief cur curator at the MCA. I, I find it crazy that we actually haven't met yet. I've been so eager to meet you. Don't you start already. I get first dibs. Clive literally had to die for Brianna to be free. Sorry. So Jameson's doing a show at my gallery in New York. I think it's the perfect opportunity for you to spread your wings a bit more. Come to the big city. I could introduce you to the women of Entrenu if you decide on New York. Oh, wow. Thank you. I've actually been considering going out on my own. Don't you want to focus on working with artists instead of chasing outstanding invoices? You can change the institution from the inside. You should come by the museum sometime. Okay. I think I'd like that. Oh my God. What's, What's happening? Finley Stevens was found dead in her apartment. Her husband found her poor thing? Oh, her husband's a suspect. Anthony. Tells her father and what, you know, 
He hired some men to hunt Robitaille down and told him to get creative. Chase him through here in the middle of the day. He collapses from exhaustion right near where the old tower in Chestnut used to be. They beat him, tortured him. They cut off his arm and gave him meat hook and the stump. They smear honeycomb from the nearby hives on his chest and let the bees sting him. A crowd started to form to watch the show. The big finale. They set him on fire. And he finally dies. But a story like that, a pain like that, lasts forever. That's Candy Man. So, he's real. Bell is real. Samuel, Sherman, Daniel Robitaille, they're all real. Candyman is how we deal with the fact that these things happen. That they're still happening. Get some rest, young blood. I feel better in the morning. He knows about it, all of it. Knows about what? Candyman. Candyman isn't real. I saw him. Candyman isn't real, Anthony. You know, you know what is real? Me, Anthony, me. This, this is real. You don't understand. Okay, I, I, I will show you that. Okay, Candyman. No. Don't say his name. He said a fuck right there. I'm Brianna. Don't follow me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Let that motherfucker try to come up in here. Fucking art ogre, fucking fee five fo fum Grady will stomp on his ass. In a reggae. If I have to stomp, I'll stomp. I mean, he literally was like, I summoned Candyman. And I'm like, Candyman ain't real, nigga. I told you not to start dating that dapper Dan ass, little Basquiat ass, fucking no job, sunrise. Troy, okay. And a dick on the planet good enough to offset a demonology hobby. Okay, Troy, stop. Just what? It's the truth. If Grady came up in here smashing mirrors, Um. All right, you take care of Lucy, and you are in time out. Come here. Break it up. I spoke to Mom. She wants to close the storage unit out, so we finally have to deal with Dad's work. I was thinking maybe we could sell or if you want to keep anything no, i don't want any of that in my house thank you well then sell or do a show i think you should i think you should open a space i'm not doing a show of the thing that killed him troy you can't hide everything and then and then just hope it goes away troy and you don't have to be there every time a tortured artist has a psychotic break i'm sorry <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You can stay as long as you want on the condition you don't try and summon Candyman. Who would do that? (laughs) 
Boot. Guys, what should I do about my veins? I like it like this. Trans fucking trash. Look, watch. Samantha. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, look at this chip. Oh, oh, my gosh, gosh. In front of everyone. Have you guys heard of Candyman? Fuck this, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do it. Come on, Boof, don't be a pussy. Why not? It's a warm and wonderful oh, thing. Oh, Boof, we're already in formation. Fine. Okay, ready? Candyman. <laughs> All at once, on us. Candyman. 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 Not today. Not today. Two more times. Candyman. One more. Candyman. Well, we're still alive, so. Katrina. Let's go. <laughs> My training has that hangover. It's <laughs> such a mess. Oh, oh, oh. oh the drink is trash. She doesn't her drink that much. That's between her and her bed. Trina, you broke the fucking door. Hey, I'm too young to die. Open it. I'm working on it. fresher direction for the past few years, and our last curator was a great guy, but just had a hard time getting there. Well, I've certainly noticed a shift in programming since you started here. Hopefully for the best. I'm so happy I finally got to meet you at Jack's dinner. Yes. You know what? I think he's been trying to get us together before it's that. It's crazy but... about Clive. I heard you were the one to find the bodies. Yeah. Um, I... You've really emerged as an interesting figure amidst all this. The show you put together sounded so good, too. You were so brave to embrace formlessness. Well, but actually, there were a lot of body figures in the show, like Arnold's work. 
for so long, abstraction has been about indexing a sublimated emotional state, and I just wanted to focus on the body. Oh, of course, but I mean, between the recent tragedies and your father's legacy, you've got a fascinating story. Right. And your eye for emerging talent. How long have you worked with Anthony McCoy? Just a couple years. My board members are buzzing about McCoy's work. Mm -hmm. Feels like a project room show is something we could start talking about. And of course, any other artist you have your eye on. The near north side community, once known as Cabrini Green, is stunned by the vicious mass murder at Golan College Prep. Police have found a startling link to the art world murders, in particular, a piece called Say My Name, which was written in the victim's blood on the bathroom wall. Welcome back, Mr. McCoy. What? I saw in your file you were born here. I was born in the south side. Uh, no, it says you were born here. Regardless, it is good that you came in when you did. We need to get you immediately. Your hand. Looks bad. Went to River North Memorial near Cabrini. They fixed me right up. You been painting? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been inspired a lot actually by Cabrini. You want some tea? I heard a story about a fire. Killed a woman named Helen Lyle. A baby that was taken. Something they used to call candy man. Don't. Don't say that. He told me I was born on the south side. I did raise you in the home you remember. But you were born in River North Memorial and spent the first two years in Cabrini. Why did you lie? To protect you. From what? I just wanted you to grow up happy and normal. Do I look normal, Mama? <laughs> I have to know. No. When you first got taken, I thought she was the one who did. When you first got taken, I thought she was the one who did it. Helen. The way I found her in our apartment, covered in blood. They all thought she was crazy. But it wasn't her. He had a purpose for you. He chose you to be one of his victims. He wanted you to burn in that fire. But she
she pulled you out and gave you back to me. <laughs> I thought it ended at night. In the fire, I thought she ended it. And we vowed to never say his name again. But someone broke the bat and you found me. Oh. I'm sorry. scared anymore. Don't play with your puppet. I'm gonna pee on your bed if you don't let me in. You're being so annoying right what now. What are you doing? Mind your business. Come on, let me play, please. This game is for grown-ups and you're big baby. I'm not a baby. Go away.
say my name, kill her. He's roaming around the row house like a brainy. Uh, a black man, around 30. He was waving a hook and talking crazy. I think he's killing people down there. <laughs> some other shit now, huh? <laughs> when something leaves his name, even if you wash it out, it's still there. You can feel it. Uh, thinning deep in the fabric. This neighborhood got caught in a loop. The shit got stained in the exact same spot over and over until it finally rotted from the inside out. They tore down our home so they could move back in. We need Candyman. Because <laughs> this time, if we kill him, their fathers, their babies, their sisters. I knew it was only a matter of time before the baby came back here in perfect symmetry. A chance for Candyman to take back what's rightfully his. His legend.
help, Anthony. Unfortunate what happened to your man in there. We've been looking for him. We've got a tippy pee here. You know anything about that? Whatever you tell us helps. Any cooperation is noted. Saying what you saw when he came at Jones. And Jones, obviously knowing what he'd done before, seeing his hook, knowing you were in danger, had no choice but to discharge his weapon. Doesn't sound right to you? <sighs> or, she's an accomplice. She held the victims down, he cut them up. He died coming at a cop. She goes to jail for the rest of her life. Which story is it? Can I see myself? What? In the mirror. I'll tell you everything if you let me see myself. No. I'll say whatever you want.
writing on the walls. I'm the sweet smell of blood on the street. The buzz that echoes in the alleyways. They will say I shed innocent blood. You are far from innocent, but they'll say you are. That's all that matters. Everyone.